All right, this is grade three, module three, lesson four. And in this lesson, we're going to be focusing on our sixes. And this time, we're going to be shifting gears. We're going to be doing our skip counting in order to learn our sixes. In the previous lesson, um, we, we focused on the distributive property and um, uh, yeah, well, using known facts. For example, like if we wanted to do seven times six, what we would do is we would take our sixes, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then we would say, well, our known fact, we know that five of those sixes, five times six, we know that that's equal to 30, and we know that two times six is equal to 12, and so now we just add 30 plus 12, and we get 42. So we know that 7 times 6 is equal to 42. Uh, now that was, that was the technique that we were using in our previous videos. We're shifting gears to give access to more students, right? So we're going to choose a different strategy and reach a different population. And so we're going to be doing it using skip counting. And the trick to skip counting is, since we're going to be repeatedly adding by six, we want to help kids uh, have some sort of scaffolding, some sort of technique for how to efficiently add six repeatedly. And so we're going to be using the number bonds to kind of make this go quickly and, and use um, number bonds to make multiples of ten. For example, so we know um, six plus six, well... 6 plus what gives us 10? We're always going to be looking for that next multiple of 10. And so, uh, so 6 plus 4 gives us 10, plus we have 2 left over, so um, 10 plus 2 is 12. So, of course, I think most third graders would know that 6 plus 6 is 12, but we're going to be really focusing on using number bonds to help um, some students uh, f do their skip counting and their repeated addition a little bit quicker. So, in this case, the next one, we have six, uh, 12 plus 6. Well, no amount of 6 added to the 2 will give us our next multiple of 10. So, we're going to take the 12, and we're going to number bond. We're going to break it apart, decompose it to be 10 plus 2. So, 6 plus 2 is 18, plus the 10 gives us... Uh, I'm sorry, 2 plus 6 is 8, plus the 10 gives us 18. Uh, I think, again, uh, this is another example where that 12 plus 6, most students might just quickly count on their fingers, or they might know that 12 plus 6 is 18 and go straight to it, and the number bond seems a little bit superfluous, <laughs> extra, <laughs> superfluous, that's it, and um, so they don't need it. Uh, it's going to be down the road where the number bond might be uh, useful. So here we go. We've got 18. We want to get it, bump it up to the next uh, multiple of 10, which is going to be 20. And in order to do that, we're going to break, decompose the 6 to 2 plus 4. So 18 plus 2 gives us 20, plus we have the 4 extra. So 20 plus 4 gives us 24. Now we have 4. And to bump it up to the next multiple of 10, we need 6. So 4 plus 6 is 10. And uh, so that would, I would do it a little bit differently. Well, no, no, I would do it just like this. And I would say, okay, 4 plus 6 gives us 10. So we have 20 plus 10, which gives us 30. And then 30 plus 6, boy, that needs no help right there. That's just straight up 36. But then we've got 6. In order to bump it up to the next multiple of 10, we need 4. So we're going to decompose 6 to 4 and 2, so 36 plus 4 gives us 40, plus 2 extra gives us 42. And then I'm going to slide this in, so that was letter F, and now we're ready to do G. And G, uh, 42 plus 6, well, we probably don't need this, but I would decompose that to 40 and 2. 6 and 2 is 8, 40 plus 8 is 48. And then 48 plus 6. Well, if we have 48, I'm going to decompose that 6 to 2 and 4. So 48 plus 2 gives us 50, plus an extra 4 is 54. And then, well, um, 4 needs 6. So I would just do um, 
50 and 4, and then 6 and 4 is 10, plus the original 50 gives us 60. Uh, so the idea for this is using number bonds uh, over here, number bonds, to make the concept of repeatedly adding by 6 go a little bit quicker, uh, make it so that students are less likely to make mistakes. Uh, if students have a different way that they would like to add by 6, they know a different trick, they're allowed to use it. We're just teaching students a variety of different techniques to make skip counting go efficiently. And now we're just going to practice. So it says count by 6 to fill in the blanks. So we've got 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36. And of course, if we wanted to, we could be using number bonds to do that. Now that we've done this, we now know that 6 times 6 is equal to 36 because we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this means 6 times 6 is 36. And if we wanted to represent that with division, we would say 36 divided by 6 is 6. Using that same concept, we're going to count by 6's to figure out what 48 divided by 6 is. So we're just going to do our 6's. We're going to do 6, 12, 18, 24, 30, 36, and we're just going to keep going. 42, 48, 50. Oops, I can stop because I've reached 48. And now I know that 48 divided by 6 is, and I count, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Ah, 48 divided by 6 is 8. So if I wanted to, I could write 6 times 8 equals 48. Or I could also write 8 times 6 is 48. But really, at this point, all they wanted us to know or to show them is that 48 divided by 6 is 8. And that is Grade 3, Module 3, Lesson 4, where we are skip counting to learn our 6s.